Hello everybody, I just woke up a little while ago and nine hours ago this maple memo was posted and after reading this there is gonna be some huge ramifications on as far as I can tell mostly reboot but also just GMS in general so uh, if you guys haven't read this already I will just give you a read real quick. Okay, let's just read the first paragraph, which is the most important part. I'm going to just make this a little bigger in case you guys can't see it. So, addressing recent changes and content closure. Hi, Maplers. Over the past few months, we've made several changes to the game that exhibit the overall direction we would like to pursue for a global maple story. While it hasn't been very clear to you why these changes were being made, we'd like to try to explain a little bit better the discussions we've had and the reasoning behind some of the changes. One of the main reasons we wanted to provide this insight now is to also give more context to our decision to remove Singapore area maps and content in our V199 update this week. Decision to remove Singapore area maps and content in our V199 update this week. So if you guys have been keeping up with MapleStory Reboot Adventure, I had just gotten my new Kana up to 150 so I could suicide Meso Farm at Bye Bye Station, which is in Singapore. So Singapore area maps, right? There's Bye Bye Station, Ulu Estates in Singapore, MP3s in Singapore. So after Singapore closes, there's going to be no way to get the Ghost Ship Exorcist badge. And, you know, if you want to read the rest, I can leave the link below. But it's just a bunch of PR about how they wanted to offer us better content. You can read it if you're interested. But... I mean, I don't know what to say. It's. I think at the end of the day, removing this isn't really the core issue. The core issue is that if they remove this, then it really creates a high barrier of entry to playing the endgame and reboot. Am I going to say it's impossible to get to endgame reboot? Absolutely not. The people who are in reboot. Who have progressed to a point where they can farm arcane river comfortably those people won't be the ones that are affected the ones that are affected are the ones who can't do that yet and have to rely on bye bye station ulu estate those meso farming maps so i don't know guys this is the second time that this has happened they did that meso farming nerf last year which i made a video titled uh, Mape, what was it? Nexon Destroyed Meso Farming which they didn't exactly do they made it so within a level range you'd be able to still get Meso but this time they actually got rid of Meso Farming I can't even really think about or off the top of my head right there's the Ursus boss there's the the crystals you can get from killing normal bosses but where else other than that are you going to farm to bridge the gap between starting out and being able to farm arcane river efficiently i can't really think of anything this is a big deal it's it so they're removing it in their v199 content patch which is Thursday so it's today in like an hour so after that Singapore is completely gone and with Singapore being removed this also brings up the question of what else are they gonna remove right Commerci, Gallix, Kana Hayato. I mean, I understand why they're doing it. At the end of the day, Global Maple Story accounts for, I think, 
less than five percent of Nexon's total revenue. So the you know being able to streamline this GMS and KMS into I know well, G, streamlining GMS into a carbon copy of KMS makes it so upkeeping the game is simpler. There will be less bugs, so there will be less crashing. But I mean, wh where are we gonna take it from here? Are we just gonna remove everything that GMS has that's unique to GMS? I mean, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna get rid of all the Golix equips, all the sweet water, and all that? I don't know. I mean, if they're doing this, then who knows how far they are going to take it. I mean, at, at this point, I'm pretty certain, now correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty certain that there are no actual content developers for GMS. There are, maybe is a, like a localization team, right, that does all the translation and localizing all the content for GMS. But other than that, I, I don't think there are actually any developers. So, I don't know, guys. Just this time around, Nexon destroyed Meso Farming for good, at least for the casual non-endgame player. Let me know what you guys have to say. As for now, I don't even know what I'm going to do for my Maple Story reboot adventure series, right? I, I have, at least from my knowledge, maybe if you guys have any ideas for me, I, there's no way for me to really mess a farm efficiently. I'm not at the point where I can just farm an arcane river, so I don't know. Maybe we can go back to the, the Barra series. I really don't know, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. I'm not too thrilled. I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, it's not removing Singapore area maps that's the core problem. It's when they remove the Singapore area maps, there's just going to be no way for the casual player to be able to bridge themselves to end game efficiently and they i mean they're somewhere along there they, they say they're not gonna go tinker with meso generation within reboot they're going to try to keep it the same but they said the same thing last year when they implemented the level caps and they they really didn't do much as far as I'm aware to make meso farming easier on reboot. So there's really, I don't know if they're actually, I mean, I'd be surprised that they actually implemented any new ways for the non endgame Arcane River meso farmer people to do like any methods. I, I don't know. Anyways, guys, I. Just let me know what you guys have to say about this new development. Uh, just leave the comments below. We'll have a conversation. But I don't know, guys. What, what, what do you What do you guys think I should do for my Maple Story reboot series? Should I just call it off? Should I just keep on going? Maybe, maybe I can try to see what I can do in Arcane River. I, I can kill Slurpee Forest Depths. With, I think like two or three shot it so maybe that's a possible option but <laughs> as far as I'm concerned that level 150 suicide meso farming Kana that I just made is gonna be completely obsolete when the maple story game update happens in like 40 minutes so yeah anyways guys I will be seeing you guys soon I have a like part of a maple story reboot adventure episode done i've been working on 120 percent meso on the kana but <laughs> uh i mean there's no point in me doing any more of that so i don't know we'll see anyways peace out guys let me know what you guys think